Hey there tubers. Today's video is going to be on the replacement of the crankcase ventilation filter on this 2012 Paccar PX6. Now this is basically a Cummins 6.7 ISB engine. Uh, there's just a few changes that Paccar made to it. One is like this cover here and then it's got a bigger oil pan and I'm not sure that there's a whole lot else that's different but I know those two for sure so it's it's gonna be basically the same uh, way of doing things as on the coming six sevens so what we've got here is there's eight bolts all the way around this four on each side and those are an eight millimeter We'll pull all those out, we'll disconnect this uh, blow-by tube here, take the fill cap off, and then this whole thing should come up. Now Cummins recommends that you uh, do these every 75,000 miles or 2,500 hours. Uh, this one's got about 58,000 miles on it and about 2,800 hours. So. We're over one, but under the other. So I'll uh, get these bolts out here real quick and, and break that loose. And then we'll see if we can wiggle that out and show you what's inside. All right, there's the cover off. That's what she looks like. Now here's the new filter. And it's a CV52001. So I should just be able to wiggle this loose and get it to pop up and then uh, the new one just goes in here and pops down so uh, looks like this will take two hands so I'll uh, put you on pause and be right back okay that's what it looks like without a filter in it so now I'll just take this new filter and you got these two uh, o-ring fittings that go on the bottom big side over there little side over here set it in place and give it a press down it's nice and snug so then this o-ring fitting will fit in the back of your cover here and that's pretty much all there is to it now there's no torque spec for these bolts when they go back in so just get them good and snug as you can see that they're sitting in plastic so you don't want to get overly aggressive with them but just make sure this is down good and tight and seated and the same when you put this on bolts back in breather tube back on oil cap back on and you're good to go so hopefully this helped if you have any questions or comments leave them below